Good morning, everybody. It's a little after 3 a.m. and I can't sleep, so we're going to start a new project. I'm out here on the patio with the mosquitoes, and you can hear the crickets. Before I start that, check out this little cicada here. It's from a photo shoot I've been working on. He's getting ready to fly off. What we're going to do, we're going to take this glass vase and we're going to try to paint it with a glitter paint. Now, the glitter paint that I use, it's cheap stuff. It uh, has a clear paint and then the glitter. I've got the vase upside down on the Lazy Susan. We're going to start, and we're just trying to get whatever we can out of the old tubes before I go to the new one, and that works a lot better. I like using acid brushes. And just spread it out. I don't know how well it'll adhere. It's going to take a couple of layers, I believe. And we're just going to spread it out onto the glass. Okay. It's going to have some globs. Work our way down. It's upside down because this is a tempera based paint. And if I put water in the vase, it's just not going to last. So you can see down at the bottom here, it's really hard to see. Like I said, it'll take a couple of coats. Okay. And we're just going to go... To another brush, and we'll use some green this time. Same thing, we're trying to get whatever's left in there out. I've got some ideas for what's left in the bottles, or the tubes, whatever you want to call them. All right. The green's pretty runny compared to the red there. Might have something to do with how long I've had the paints. I don't know. Okay. See, we're just going to spread it around. Okay. I've got a little bowl of water here. You can't see it. Some paper towels. We'll go to the next color. I'm not even going to bother with the partial tube of purple. Spread some of that around. The green and purple combo always make me think of Mardi Gras. And then the next color is going to be gold. Okay, we're going to go over to this side with the purple since I already got it on the brush. Catch it before it drips off. Okay, now let's uh, spin it back around and we'll throw some gold on. We're going to overlap this thin part of the purple. This is pretty thin, too. And 
What do you think? Uh, I'm thinking green again. And then we'll let this dry. And then I'm going to clear coat it with a, a Krylon clear spray. I'll probably come back and touch up a little bit on the green and the gold. You know, put a little bit more on there to get kind of that globby effect like I've got over here. I think it'll uh I think it'll turn out pretty nice.